impact of sonar. Professor Peter Hawk is an ecologist at the University of Guam's marine lab. He says marine mammals like the beak whales that were stranded in Marizo last week use what's called echolocation, which is their form of sonar. Hawk adds marine mammals use echolocation to locate prey, predators, and mates. So when, uh, uh, say, a military sonar or something like that uh, occurs, uh, depending on the frequency, I think they've stated mid-range frequencies are the worst. Depending on the frequency, um, the, the sonar calls that the marine mammals are making can be disrupted. As we reported, three beaked whales were stranded in Marizo last week. With the help of local residents, two were able to make it back out in the ocean, while one died. Officials are currently waiting for the results of a necropsy of the dead whale, which was conducted in Hawaii last week, to determine its exact cause of death. The military confirmed with KYM last Friday that they had, in fact, used sonar during a training exercise conducted the same day and around the same time the whales washed ashore. According to Hawk, the use of sonar drowns out the noises that marine mammals rely on for their survival, altering their responses to prey, predators, or mates. It can also cause whales to change their dive patterns in a way their bodies cannot handle, resulting in dire consequences. In the past, they've uh, they think there's a study out there that uh, they believe they have uh, linked that uh, to a beaching event or a stranding event, um, although direct cause and effect is very hard to do, right? Uh, that's Science is based on probabilities, probability that something happened and then this happened after. I think the most severe things when you think about what they, what they use sonar for, uh, finding out where and when predators are around, finding their prey, so foraging, getting their food. So these are some of the basic functions of life needed. So um, depending on how frequent sonar was there and what its impact was, is it, is it just something that has a short-term impact or something that has a longer-term impact? So getting, getting the answer to those questions are obviously key. According to the National Resource Defense Council website, many beach dwells have suffered physical trauma, including bleeding around the brain, ears, and other tissues as a result of sonar testing. Department of Agriculture biologist Brent Tibbetts told KOAM that although he is not an expert, in his initial assessment of the well, it did not appear that it had any health issues. However, official results are pending. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovis.